Keanu Reeves is back for yet another outing as John Wick in John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. Directed by Chad Stalski and also starring Halle Berry, Lawrence Fishburne, and Ian McShane. This picks up immediately after the events of John Wick 2, where Wick has been excommunicated by the high table after he killed someone in a safe house, which is apparently a big no-no in the greater assassin community. And he has about one hour to prepare for every assassin in a 20-mile radius to come down on his ass, and come down they do. And that means there's a whole lot of people that John Wick has to shoot in the face, or stab in the face or otherwise kill in the face. He kills his first victim in this movie with a book. In the face! No, really. And he enlists the aid of a few people who not necessarily don't want to kill him, but are at least reluctant to do so for the time being. And he desperately tries to negotiate his way out of this because even John Wick cannot kill everyone. Not for lack of trying, mind you. If you've seen the first two movies, you probably already have a pretty good idea of what to expect here. The plot is not exactly complex, but for a movie like this, it doesn't need to be. Simple is fine. There are some times when the movie can be a bit predictable, like when John Wick is trying to make a deal with the guy who is obviously an asshole. You know it's just a matter of time before he double-crosses him and they have a big shootout. I mean, the guy is played by the same guy who played Braun in Game of Thrones. Of course he's an asshole. You're just counting down the seconds until they start shooting. And about halfway through the movie, when John enters this massive room that is almost entirely made of glass, the ceiling, the floor, the walls, a whole bunch of display cases, all glass, you know it's just a matter of time before all that glass is going to break. But none of this predictability dampens the fun at all. This is a wild fucking ride. So much action, so many headshots. If they were trying to set a new record for headshots, I think they succeeded. Because even after you've been shot in the face, John Wick will still come up to you and shoot you in the face a couple more times just to make sure you're not getting up. He's very thorough. The action scenes are top-notch. Of course, there's plenty of gunfights, but there's also a lot of hand-to-hand -hand and fighting with melee weapons, and it's done so well. Excellent choreography. Excellent sound mixing, too. I could feel every shot, every punch, every kick, every motherfucker getting thrown through a plate of glass. That happens a lot. Remember, the entire room, nothing but glass. It's got to break somehow. And it's always nice to see fight sequences that aren't just non-stop quick cuts to hide the fact that the people in the fight don't actually know how to fight. Clearly, these people know what the hell they are doing, which, at least in Keanu Reeves' case, is not a surprise, because I think we've all seen the videos, we know how hard he trains for these movies, and considering how hard he trains, he probably could legit kill any one of us if he wanted to, and we are only alive today by his mercy. But it's not just Keanu. I mean, I was not at all expecting 2019 to be the year of Halle Berry action star. But holy shit, she crushed it. She was popping heads just as well as Keanu. Got some good hand-to-hand -hand fighting in as well. I mean, god damn, girl. When did she get her spinoff movie? I'd watch it. And they got plenty of people in this movie who are very skilled martial artists. There's even a moment where Wick fights a couple of guys from The Raid 2, which was pretty awesome. The movie has a really strong cast, both returning and new. Reeves is, I think it's fair to say, not exactly the most versatile actor on the planet, but this is the type of movie that really plays to his strengths. When he is getting the ever-loving shit beat out of him, he sells it. Barry is great as always. Fishburne only has a few very brief scenes, but looks like he's having the time of his life. We got a very brief appearance from Randall Duke Kim in yet another nod to The Matrix, along with that line we all saw in the trailer. Guns. Lots of guns. And I don't know how the hell they got Angelica freaking Houston in this movie, but I'm kind of liking this trend of action movies getting these big-name actresses to class the joint up a bit. We had Nicole Kidman in Aquaman, Annette Bening in Captain Marvel, and now Houston in John Wick. I approve. Mark Dacascos plays kind of the main villain of the movie. He's a guy named Zero who is one of the assassins out to get John Wick. And there's both good and bad with this character. I think the problem I have is when we first meet this character, he seems very calm and very serious, your basic stoic bad guy. But in the third act, when he and John Wick finally face off, he gets much more comedic in his behavior. 
And it's not that I didn't like it. I actually really liked that version of the character, but that's the thing. It felt like a completely different character, and there was no real buildup to it at all. It felt a bit jarring. But a few minor issues aside, this was great. It's pretty much exactly what I expected, and I enjoyed the hell out of it. And it looks like they are indeed making a John Wick 4, and I'm probably going to see that one as well. Hell, if they get up to John Wick 50, I'll probably still be watching these movies. And if you enjoyed the first two, you will almost certainly enjoy this one as well. If you haven't seen the first two, you probably should if you're planning to see Chapter 3, but I don't think it's absolutely necessary to enjoy it. And that's all I got to say about John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum. Till next time, take care.